for Ocean BCD. Today, I will show you how you can import products from eBay to your shop WooCommerce. So if you have already a WordPress website, you can install the plugin WooCommerce and then go to plugins, click on add new, search for WooShark or maybe eBay dropshipping. So this plugin actually is for dropshipper. This means that for uh, people who want to sell eBay products on their shop or for people who have uh, shops on eBay and they want also to sell outside in order to minimize the costs uh, for eBay platform. So here you have the plugin at first search result called eBay dropshipping and affiliate by Shark. You click on install. This will take a couple of seconds. The plugin is installed. I activated and everything is fine. It's loading a bit. Okay, on the left side I see here with the color of eBay a new entry called to Shark for eBay and WooCommerce. I access this and I can see the plugin here. So the first thing to do is to configure your WordPress, uh, to configure the plugin. So many of the options are available on the uh, premium version, but some of them are available on the free version. So you can choose which domain of eBay you want to use. You can use define price markup formula, uh, change text, and many things. So I go back. I go back to eBay. So the user here can search by ID. I will show you pretty fast how to do this. So the ID is what you can get from here. Is the identifier of the product. So I can import product by ID. So I paste it here and I click on import and I see this page. I select uh, many information here. I change the title, for example. I add short description. Oops. Adidas short, oh, short description just to make some tests. I want to publish the product. I want the product to be a featured product. And then I want to insert it on, because I don't have yet categories, I will insert it on anchorized category. The description is here. So I can remove whatever I want from here. The gallery. So I see many images here. I can keep only what I need. The variation are here. So we have all the variation uh, details here. Uh, the price, the sale price. So I can define the price for all variation. For example, it's 390. If I want to sell the price a bit uh, more uh, with more cost, if I want to do drop shipping, and I want to. Do Set the sell price to, for example, 800 to this. I can add the shipping price for four dollar, or I can use the premium plugin to load the shipping method and cost. You can watch uh, the video on our YouTube channel. You can edit the attribute from here, but it's not recommended because it can be easily broken, uh, broke the product. So try to not to edit the attributes here. This is the specific uh, attributes. So the ones that will be displayed on additional information. So you can modify them, you can add them, add the new ones. Uh, you can choose whatever you want, actually. You can update this one and just paste what you want. Then the tags, you can choose what, what tags you want. For example, I want to add the tag choose, uh, the tag get cool, uh, so in order to organize products. And then the reviews, so I can create my reviews. This is the full product. And then I click on import. So this product will be Imported. Okay, I, I think I have a message error because this product has been already imported. I did already import this product, so I will go to another new product, and I will do the same thing. I paste it here, and hopefully this one is not yet imported. So I will click import. This should be fine. So it's loading. It will take some time to load. Okay, and the product is inserted successfully. I go to list of products and I see that the product is there everything is fine I open the product I see already from the list here that a lot of information has been inserted but let's say let's see the final product I go back here okay here I see the product is in stock I see the price the category the tags the date the SKU the title and let's open the product 
Okay, here I see the variation. I can choose the type I want. I see the stock, the price of the variation. I see the description here, the specific attributes, the reviews. Uh, I can change the variation. I see images. So everything looks fine. So for this, because I did not create any review, there is no reviews. Because at the last moment, I, I saw that the first product was inserted. That's why there is no review. Um, so that's how we can import by uh, ID. You can also import by uh, URL. So you just copy the URL, you paste it here, and click on import. This will be the same thing. We have a simple product here. There is no variation, so you will not see the tab variation here because it's a simple product. So it has a unique price, and it has no uh, variations. The same. I will just test that the review are working. This is the product and then I click import so this will take a while and the product is inserted successfully I will go again and search for products and the product is there it's in stock there is only one and the price is 29 so I open the product from here and as you can see, I have all the dates here, the description, and all that I need. Then, what I can do, I can also import by uh, store, uh, store name, for example. I want to import information from here. So, the shop name or the seller name is called Sneak Peek USA. So, I, I copy this one, I go back here, I paste it here, seller name, and I put choose as keyword and then I search so I will get only product from that seller so as you can see here all the all of them are the same seller name so I can pick this one and they can import it on the premium version I can select multiple products at the same time so I can add them to waiting list and then I can import them at one single at one single time here we have a list of products that have been imported, so the count is increasing. So I can reload the page and go here. I see there are 12 products. I can update the stock and the price of the product. I can insert reviews. I can open the original product URL. So if I want to check the product on eBay, I can open from here. And that's all. So that's all for this uh, video. Uh, you can go to the premium version from here, you can watch some of our video. You click here, you are redirected to our website. For this period you have discount price, uh, it's around 50%, so instead of paying 49.99, you will pay 29.29, which is a very good price. You just pay one time and then use the plugin whenever you want. So this uh, offer will expire soon, it will expire soon. We offer also, with the same license, the possibility to import the product using Chrome extension. So as you can see here, when you install the Chrome extension for eBay, you will be able to import the product directly from here. So for example, I have a specific video for the Chrome extension, but I will mention what you can do using this Chrome extension that is included on the same license. So you see that there is a button called Import to Shop. You click on this button and you have more or less the same model here. You select all your information and then you click on import. We arrive at the end of this video. I want to thank you and see you on the next video.